Hello friends, this is a very different video than what I've been posting up normally. When I first started out, I was only customizing Vans shoes, Vans canvas shoes in specific. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to paint anything you want to very fast on canvas faced shoes. I will also be posting the longer version of this video early next week where I will be painting Chun-Li on the other shoe. So the secret weapon that I use in almost all videos is Sorol transfer paper. I discovered this transfer paper when I was working at a tattoo shop back in 2012. Believe it or not, I was a tattoo artist for a few years. And this transfer paper is what helps me paint almost any project seen here on YouTube. This picture of Ryu was printed on a regular old HP printer, cut out, and then glued with a glue stick to this blue Sorrel transfer paper. I then fit it to the front of this shoe and then traced all of the line work to best fit the area. If you are here just to get more information on the transfer paper, then welcome. If you want to stay a little longer, then you can see the entire process of Ryu being painted. I did purchase this Sorrel transfer paper off Amazon. There is an Amazon affiliate link down below for the blue and white transfer papers. I do not recommend the graphite or the red as they both tend to stain. They tend to stain the white canvas for some reason. The graphite also smears very easily. I do not know why. I used to use the yellow a lot on darker backgrounds, but then I discovered the white and I've just been on the white and blue for everything. This chalk based transfer paper works on a variety of different surfaces listed here as well as many many more. I have used it on numerous projects. All customizers need to have this on their desk. If you are advanced, if you are just starting out, pick this up. These are the Vans shoes that I am painting today straight out of the box. I need something to hold the Sorrel transfer stencil. So I am using a mix of too soft and flat white for the base coat on the front of both shoes. You can use only the paint for the base coat. I first started off not using too soft because Angelus did not have the too soft when I first started painting and using their products. Now I use the too soft and paint mix for the fronts of Vans because the Vans flex and move when being walked around in and using the too soft lessens the chance of the paint cracking. Anytime you use Too Soft, you must heat set it for three to five minutes. This heat gun is from AngelusDirect.com. There's also a link down below to get this exact same heat gun. Because this video is focusing on the transfer portion of the pictures onto the canvas, I am not putting any of the side painting detail today. I like to use a glue stick to glue Ryu onto the blue Sorrel transfer paper. Elmer's glue, our regular old glue, tends to leave clumps of glue and it gets really wet. So stick to a glue stick for this. So the entire picture glued onto the Sorrel transfer paper, cut out, and now I am taping it to the front of this shoe. I am making some tiny cuts because the picture might kind of fold and bend in areas I don't want it to. I want it to lay as flat as possible on the surface of this shoe. I prefer to use a finer tip ballpoint pen for this process. This pen, I picked it up at the Jump Shop Nintendo World in Shibuya and it's just been always on my desk and the first thing I grab for this. I am just outlining what is already printed on the paper, pressing down on the line work. When I lift the edge, you can see Ryu's hand there in the blue outline. And here we have Ryu ready to paint. If you can color in a coloring book, you can use the Sorrel transfer paper. It is very, very easy and you do not need any drawing skills to paint anything you want to paint. I'd like to do a little bit of the background behind Ryu first. This is a mix I used on the sides. It is a mix of orange and pale yellow. 
can see a little bit of the chalk residue where I might have smeared it with my hand, but I am removing that blue chalk right now with a regular eraser. I like to do the darker color fills first, starting with black. Sometimes the lines can get a little bit jumbled, but doing the darker areas first helped me to see it in its entirety. This more tan colored skin tone is a mix of Vecetta and Buttercup. Mixing a little bit of the flat white into the Vecetta Buttercup mix for the lightest skin tone. For the lighter part of Reuse G, I am using a mix of tan, pale yellow, and white. Time to outline, I am using a Princeton Select Size 18 short liner. And this is how I painted Ryu from Street Fighter without any drawing skills. If you can color in a coloring book, then you can use Sorrel transfer paper. If you like watching these videos, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, all of my contact information is down below, as are links to all the products used in this video. Big thanks to Angelus Direct for the paints, and thanks guys for watching.